Hey YouTube, welcome to TCTN, the crazy troll nation of YouTube. Crazy because sometimes I I just am. I'm a little weird. I'm a little off. Um, <laughs> troll because I consider myself a troll, a cute troll when I put on face paint, but a troll nonetheless. And so this video is going to be about uh, two more rows. I'm sorry, two more columns of the Natasha Denona palette. Um, the only rows I have not done yet is row number three and row number four. So I'm going to do one eye this way with, I keep calling them rows, they're columns, <laughs> with column three and another eye with column four just to cut down on these videos. And then I'm going to do videos doing the rows going across if you guys want to see them. Because um, I'm noticing I don't really have a lot of uh, viewers on these videos. And so if you guys do want to see them in columns, let me know. And so I will hold off doing that until I hear back or I may just do like a face of the day and say, oh, this is where this color is and that color is versus doing an actual tutorial because I do like playing a makeup. And even now that I'm not feeling well, it just makes me feel pretty like a cute troll. This is the Fenty eyeshadow primer. <clears throat> this is a Sephora concealer brush number something number 57. It looks like without my reading glasses on which means that it may or may not be number 57. I did my base face. As you can tell, I didn't do my brows. If my hair is looking extra gray right here, it's because that's powder. <laughs> I was just haphazardly putting powder on my face. Okay, so going into the palette, we're going to take in column three. This is going, this is going to be a smoky look, I can tell right now. Let me spread out this hand towel that's down here <clears throat> just to catch any possible fallout or anything so we're going to take for column three let me get my brush ready not that brush face brush i'm going to be using mostly real techniques brushes mostly so i'm going to take this top shade here from row three column three and I snapped my crease color first because for me the um, Fenty primer is a tacky eyeshadow primer and because I have like all of this extra skin around here if I go if I go straight in trying to sweep it it just moves my skin around and it causes the eyeshadow to skip which can make it look patchy but it's not the shadow, it's my technique. And so that's why I stamp it and then I go back and blend it. So that's what we have with that color. I don't know if you guys are seeing this harsh line in the middle, but I am. Oh, okay, that's taking it out some. So that's what we have with that. And next we're going to take, hmm, we'll just take this middle shade using the same brush. And I'm going to put that directly into the crease. Ooh, I did not realize this color was that bright. I don't think I've used this color before. Wow. <laughs> ah, I think I might also <laughs> Take this down to the lid. I did not think this color was that vibrant. And I don't know why. It doesn't look that bright in the pan. But jeepers. <laughs> ah, I'm going to wipe this off, this crease brush off, and go back to that first shade that I used. This one up here. And I'm going to just go straight in. And I'm going to blend around the edge of that because I don't want that fuchsia. It looks fuchsia to me, but sometimes I do wonder about my color perception. Um, I didn't want that future, the future. Welcome to the crazy. I didn't want the fuchsia shade to overpower this area right here. You know what? I'm liking this a lot better. <laughs> 
Okay, so now I'm going to go with um, the angled shader brush and I'm going to use this shade, the one at the bottom. And I'm going to stamp this in and this is what's going to go on the center of my lid since that fuchsia is on the inner corner and I did put it on the outer corner. And I'm going to take it up just a tiny bit directly into the crease. And so this is like a monochromatic look which I'm liking. And so this look is almost done. I don't know if you guys are seeing the color variations or not, but I do see it down here in the mirror. But I am liking how this look came out. I'm digging it. I'm gonna take that crease brush again, not adding any extra color, and just feather the color outward. A little bit. Ooh. Saucy. Alright, so we're going to take a, a clean crease brush and we're going to go into the fourth column. I don't know what I'm going to do here because I guess I'll. Is this a dual chrome? This one at the bottom? Yeah, the one at the bottom is a dual chrome, so I don't know. Alright, these are all different finishes in this. Um, I will put below what the names are and what the finish is. I don't know if I want to take this one into the... Uh, I I'm not sure what to do with this row, with this column. Alright, we're going to go for it. No, we're not. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take this color up here. These look so different in person, then they're showing up one. On camera. I'm gonna take this color up here at the top. You know, I think it might be the ring light that's making it look different. And I'm gonna stamp this into the crease and then blend it. I love how these shadows blend. Oh, I'm gonna feather it outward a little bit. Still just blending. Oh, I love this color. I am really liking this palette. I haven't used it since I did the last video, and so I'm like feeling renewed here. I'm gonna wipe that off, and I'm gonna take this middle shade still using that same brush and I'm going to put that on my inner corner. I'm feeling fallout from these shadows on my face. None of these in this in this column are matte shadows. If I'm not mistaken. Again, I'll write them below. I'm going to wipe that off and I think I'm having fallout because of the brush that I'm using. I'm not using the flat angle brush. I'm using a blending brush. I'm going to take this shade at the bottom and put in my outer corner. And this is a soft look. I mean, it's colorful, but it's soft, like softer compared to <laughs> my other eye. I like this look. I am really liking this palette. I'm going to go in with the with the, um, the angled brush and I'm going to take that same shade. I just want to see if I can get a little more color out of that. I am liking this color. This one is the dual chrome. I think I might have said that. <clears throat> and so the looks are done. I don't have a fluffy brush to wipe off the fallout, which I don't actually see on my face, but I felt it when I was applying the shadow. I do see a little bit right here. So that is hmm, the basic looks. I'm going to, whew, I feel like I'm in slow motion, I'm starting to sweat. I'm gonna do my brows. 
trying to, I don't know which way this, oh, here it is. Okay. This is the Fenty um, MVP brow pencil in soft black. I don't, I'm not fancy with my brows. If you've seen any of my videos, you know that. I do prefer the natural look, which means not the stencil look. <laughs> Even though they look nice, they in no way at all look natural. Like, nobody's brows look like that ever. And I'm not knocking it. I'm not shaming. I'm not judging. I just go for a natural look for myself. And I don't mind looking my age, which is 50 years old. Excuse me if you heard that, my throat just went And so that's just how I do my brows. I just, I just keep them really simple. And the reason that I over pluck my brows, as you can see, there's like no hair here and it stops there. It's because I want to try to get the tail as similar as possible. And this one came this way and this one went that way. <laughs> and so that's why I over plucked on purpose. And so my goal is to just get them to look even and also like this one has a natural arch and this one didn't this one was more rounded before I over plucked them both <laughs> so this is how I do my brows easy peasy for me try to get them to look even so it's natural. And I do get compliments on my brows. Like if I go out on a date, which I have in a long time, I mean, well, with someone new, my partner and I, we actually go out on dates. But guys will say, oh, your brows look really nice. And I'm just like, yeah, thank you. So guys do prefer, well, I guess guys my age do prefer like the more natural kind of look. I'm gonna take um, the Lorac <laughs> eyeliner. This is in black. My upper lash line and all of this is going to get washed off in a couple of hours i already went out today i'm not going in, going anywhere else i am like so low energy it's like i'll get a burst of energy and and then do something and then like after like 10 minutes of whatever i'm doing i am just so fatigued this cold is causing me to feel like really congested and so i don't feel like i'm ever really getting enough oxygen which is why I'm feeling fatigued. I went out and took donations to Goodwill today. And then I went to the supermarket. And I, there was only two items I needed to get. So that was a really quick trip, which was awesome because driving to Goodwill and back, I was tired. And it's less than maybe like 10 minutes away. Dropped off some donations. And so this is how I do my eyeliner. I, I try to get the, if I do like a small wing, I just try to get it to look even, which is never even. I always like how this side look. I never like how that side look, which is weird since I'm reaching over. Um, for my, I didn't bring mascara here. Um, inside eyeliner in Buxom. This is Sapphire. on my upper and lower waterline. Am I even in frame? Like, can you see what I'm doing? And the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into the palette For this eye, this is column three. I'm gonna take, actually I wanna take this shade down here at the bottom and I'm gonna put this under my lower lash line. This palette is like so easy to use. I'm gonna take a different um, brush similar to that one. Column four, I'm going to take this dual, dual chrome color, this one here, and I'm gonna put that under this lower lash line on this side. I'm liking doing these videos with um, with the columns 
because it's making me, well, not making me, but it's encouraging me to really use like every, uh, I didn't use that color for that side. <laughs> Excuse me, I just hiccuped. It's encouraging me to use every shade in this palette. And also teaching me like how simple this is. So this is the complete look. So column three, column three is this eye. And column four, this column, is this eye. So let me know what you think. Do you actually want me to do the rows, doing looks, using each row going across? Or are you sick of <laughs> this, this Lila palette and me doing videos for this? But let me know. But I will say, I'm going to just do the videos anyway. If you want to see the tutorials, I will upload that. If you just want to see just the look of the day and me say this is what's here and what's there, um, which will be a shorter video, then I will just do that. Um, so let me know what you want to see. So thanks, guys, for watching. I didn't bring any lip thing over here. I just have on chapstick. Thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, um, please do a thumbs up and subscribe and click the notification bell. And if not, you don't have to. But it's free. But you don't have to. So thanks, guys, for watching. Bye.